morning. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you were into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So today we are going to go through, I guess you could say, some feminine looks, the feminine aesthetic. This is going to be a feminine lookbook. So I don't want this introduction to be too long. Typically there is no introduction, but I did just kind of want to reintroduce the subject. I will put, I guess you could say, the concepts or the ideas or the first video that I did about how to dress feminine down below. Today we are going to get into 12 looks. So first, before we get into the lookbook, I just wanted to remind you about the spectrum that we talked about, right? So when we were talking about feminine styling, there are certain colors or certain, I guess you could say, color hues or different or certain color ways that is going to give you a more feminine aesthetic, not just color, but also, I guess you could say, some details about your clothing that will give you more of a feminine aesthetic. Ruffles, pleats, ruching, different necklines, pastels, bows, things like that. They will give you, when you start adding those details to your outfit, they will give you a more feminine aesthetic. So I'm going to put up the spectrum. And as you can see, the further you get away from the middle, which I guess you could say is going to be more so like your androgynous zone, you do have things that will teeter totter on both sides. And then I guess you could say, depending on how plain or how bold it is, will give you a more masculine, will give you a more androgynous, will give you a more feminine look. I will give you the perfect example, a collared shirt, just your average run of the mill collared shirt. Depending on the fit of it and it just being a regular shirt or regular collared shirt, that is going to be more so on the masculine side. It's just your regular, it's just your regular collared shirt. To bring that over to the feminine side, someone might actually add ruffles to the collar. Someone might add some darts. Someone else might have it be a little fitted. Someone else might even change the texture of it, okay? Someone else might actually take just the average buttons that it comes with and maybe give some more, I guess you could say, feminine buttons, maybe some pink buttons, maybe like some flower buttons. So there are things that you can do to that collared shirt to make it a more feminine or to give it a more feminine aesthetic. Just think, just thinking about, you know, a more masculine, you have like Chelsea boots, you have very large and puffy coats, you have very large and bulky watches, you also have pants okay depending on what type of pants and the fit they are going to be more masculine if you go to the other side like the ultra feminine or the closer you get to the end of the spectrum is going to be feminine again think about the details of the clothing that i gave to you anytime you wear a skirt or a dress that is already going to give a more feminine aesthetic okay you also have things like i said like the ruffles you have sandals you have heels heels will make you feminine every single time now keep in mind i'm not talking about the five inch platforms i'm not talking about what people call the f me pumps or the stripper shoes i'm talking about just your classic pump pocketbooks, scarves, barrettes, bows. Okay, so now that we have gone over the details, let's get into the lookbook. I do have 12 looks, and then when I am introducing you to the looks, I will go through each part of the look, and I will let you know what detail is going to give you the feminine aesthetic. 